Give a present. Okay, come. Um, so in you have to give your name, your age first. Okay. My name is Kavita and I'm 12 years old. 12? Mm. Huh? Okay. So one of our previous topics was about the brain. So um, I've decided to make a little speech on consciousness because it's a very fascinating topic and it's part of our brain. So consciousness is basically your awareness of the world around you and yourself. Being able to understand the environment around you, thoughts, actions, and how they affect the people around you. And animals are conscious of themselves. Animals are not conscious of themselves because they run on instinct. Um, although scientists still don't fully understand how humans develop consciousness, um, it's still very fascinating. So now I'm going to tell three facts about the brain. The brain can process 10 bits per minute, which is the smallest unit of measurement. Uh, you don't feel, you don't have any pain receptors in the brain, which means that some, only some brain surgeries are done with the patient awake. And the brain's capacity for information is close to the information that 20,000 iPhones can contain. Um, overall, the brain is an organ which is very fascinating and there are many things that still are being discovered and many parts which are still not understood. Okay, very interesting. Can I, uh, okay, so, you know, you raised a very difficult question, what is consciousness? And you said consciousness is being aware. Aware of your environment and yourself. So, can a computer be conscious? No. Because a computer is programmed by a human, and a computer only runs on its programming. Wow. She says a, a computer is programmed, and so it can... No, but look, uh, it's not just me who is programming it. It's 10,000 other people who are programming it. So can a computer be smarter than a human? It could be smarter than an average human, but that's not the question. The capacity of the human brain, not about how much knowledge, like my human brain is not smarter than a computer. I don't say that I myself am smarter than a computer, but the capacity of my brain is much more uh, evolved than a computer. Oh. Okay. So my brain can intake way more information and is way more complex than a computer. Okay. But not the fact that I myself am smarter than it. Okay. But uh, let me come back to the, you know, your, 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 your uh, replies are just amazing, amazingly good. But these are very difficult subjects. So uh, let me ask. Suppose you wanted to make computers conscious. What would you have to do? You said they have to be aware of the environment. What if I put cameras on the computers? What if I put uh, microphones? What if I put temperature sensors? Do you think that someday computers might become conscious? Um, I don't think so because computers aren't really alive and a computer could never be alive. A human, cyborgs might exist in the future. A human who is half robot. But that human would have had to have been initially a human. Uh, initially, a computer can't become half human, but half human, a human can become half robot. Because then it would still be alive, but it would be half 
robot. A robot was never alive, so it couldn't become half human. My last question. What does it mean to be alive? Um, the seven characteristics of living things. So if a living thing has, if a thing has all those characteristics, then it's considered alive. Are it's you sure you're only 12 and not 24? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Go. <laughs>